are checking out this campground. It is giant. Cornhole tournament. Thank you. And lots and lots of families with lots and lots of kids. And activities. And lots of trees so that we would not be able to use our satellite dish. Of course, we're here on a Saturday, which would make it a little more wild. But it's a big place. They said to get on their seasonal list. That was first available was 2025. We're not that impressed. It's gigantic. It is a major event here. Uh, we did go to the two different RV parks. The one had some seasonal places, but there weren't any available until 2025. I think I've told you that already. Then we just went to this last one. This was a ritzy one. It's very pretty but the lots are anywhere between 100 and 150,000. And it has an HOA on top of that. 157 is 139. As you drove through it, we noticed that the RVs were all very, very expensive RVs. We're talking half million and above RVs through the whole place. That's the one for 134.5. Yes. It's the cheapest. Oh, number 71 is the cheapest at 110. So for now, we'll just keep RVing and cruising, traveling. Not ready to settle down yet. Enjoying this new car. A very smooth drive. Love all the special safety features in it. Keeps me in the lane. Has uh, adaptive cruise. So anyway, I just dropped Susie off at the casino. She's gonna win some money as usual. And I am right now driving on up past Torch Lake to Bel-Air Bel Meat House, which I always go to pick up some smoked fish and a couple steaks. Well, we're gonna take a little walk over and see the BMX races. Okay, we are going on another hike here in Traverse City. It's a beautiful evening. It's a little warm still. And got a bunch of signs here. Can't park in this area. It's just for loading. And there's rapids and obstacles ahead. Experience paddlers only. Walk riverside trails to access challenges downstream. And most importantly, caution poison ivy. So, come along. Queen Anne's Lace. It's a beautiful trail, beautiful evening. We did see a downy woodpecker. That was pretty cool. And best of all, I saw brown-eyed Susans.
They look like galaxies in the Milky Way. We love ferns. My favorite flower in the whole world, a brown-eyed Susan. <laughs> All right, we just stopped for gas, spent $275. Gas is right now running about, I think it was $370. It's going up. That was uh, Grayling, I think. We're heading north from Grayling, going to uh, St. Ignace. And on the map here, it says there was a car wreck on the Mackinac Bridge. So right now it's just a five minute delay. Might be gone by the time we get there. We had a great time in Traverse City. Did some nice hikes. Went to Myers, the largest Myers in America. And now we're going to be heading into the UP and we're going to be up here for a month and a week. Uh, we could only stay at the fairground so long, so we're transferring up to the KOA and we got the last spot because this is not a time of year to try and find a, a camping spot, especially on weekends. And we'll stay there for three days and then we'll go just down the road to the St. Ignace State Park and be there for five days. Anyway, that's everything for now. You think that's so dirty. I should have washed it. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard tonight. I'm holding it. It's so oh. pretty. Playing cold, play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. And it doesn't even me where I go. I just feel I need to take a ride. Got my coffee cup to go, and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Now my wheels in. Motion in my windows Open with the wind Blowing in my hair I'm driving down the highway Gonna do this my way I can feel it in the air Here I go Okay We've been here in St. Ignace now for a couple days at the KOA we had to come here for three days because uh, we couldn't get, we couldn't stay in Traverse City uh, those extra three days as I had planned. And so we came to this KOA and then we're gonna go to the state park. And uh, it is absolutely gorgeous day. It's in the low 70s, uh, starting to cloud over. It hasn't been any clouds all day. But, uh, and the thing I like about this place is it has lots of room between campsites. Like right now I'm in this campsite and you can see how far away I am over there. So, but uh, tomorrow we'll be moving over to the state park. So just wanted to kind of give you an update of what's going on. Yesterday we took a little drive, have some video of that. We just went out uh, along uh, Lake Huron and we stopped at a fruit market at a great cantaloupe. So other than that, I haven't been doing much. Just enjoying this wonderful weather. The fun thing about RV parks is trying to find out where the dumpster is. <laughs> but I think I got it. So we're glad to be back in this area. As you can see, 
uh, put Starlink on the ground right there. Those trees are blocking a little bit. We left the KOA, which is just about a block up the street, uh, but we couldn't get into the state park uh, three miles away uh, for another 45 minutes. So we came over here to the rest area that looks out over the Mackinac Bridge. And it looks pretty. Got a beautiful day here in Michigan, low 70s, uh, 75 degrees on the car. Okay, we made it to the Straits State Park, which is in St. Ignace, Michigan. And I'm not happy at all with our campsite. It is right next to the bathhouse. And, oh, it's dusty. They put the electric at this end which is screwed up because now we're facing the wrong way. Our picnic table and fire pit are on the wrong side. And actually this isn't too bad right here. I mean, you got a few trees and it feels all right, but I couldn't have reached the electric all the way up. So here we are by this stupid bathhouse and then they tried I guess it's brand new so they planted all new grass here so anyway but it was a major trial getting here we were three miles away at the KOA it took us an hour to get here because it is Sunday at noon but we thought okay we let we got permission to leave there an hour late so, because we knew we couldn't check in here till 1 and we were supposed to be out of there at 11. So we went over to the rest area and hung out for about 15, 20 minutes. Got back on the highway. The highway was backed up all the way to the bridge because every, all the people were coming from the Upper Peninsula were heading back south. So, we had to wait in that traffic forever and ever and ever it was a nightmare finally i pulled into the middle lane because i knew we were going straight but they had construction so we had to cut through the cones and just barely get past where everybody was turning on the bridge for us to be able to go straight and come here to the state park then when i get to the state park they charge us another $47 just because they make you buy a pass for the RV which is so stupid Colorado does the same thing I don't understand it no other state does it Michigan and Colorado are the worst you you pay for a campsite and then when you get there they make you pay for your vehicle and then on top of that we had to pay eight more dollars for the tow vehicle I don't know. Sometimes you think staying in a state park's not worth it, especially when you only have 30 amp. You know, power, no water, no sewer. In fact, the stinking dump station is closed. It's broken. It's broken for the season. So you pay all this money, and the, the facilities don't even work. So I had to come over here. I put Starlink, I'll show you where I had to put it. I had to put Starlink over here. Because if you look up here, you'll see that it's facing right toward these trees. I need to be relaxed now and just be thankful I'm here safe and sound. 149. If you ever stay at Straight State Park, do not stay in 149. It's gotten kind of windy, blowing a lot of dust up.